Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of February. I'm going to do my Februarys, and I'm going to go back to the weeklies. So we're just going to see what comes up for Cancer for the month of February. This is going to be an overall energy right here. What do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs? What do we have for Cancer? Overall energy, please. Six of Blades, Six of Swords. So, it looks like you're going to be going to some sort of stable place, you know. You may be in a situation that is unsafe or it's dangerous or something like that. That is going to a place where there's more stability, more, um, I don't know, structure. It looks like uh, you're headed towards safety, right? It's moving away from something that, you know, maybe you maybe you were close to sinking, right? Or you were, uh, there was danger. It feels like you're in some sort of danger, dangerous situation and you're, now you're moving in a new direction. You're going someplace where, you know, there there's no danger. You're you're moving away from danger by the looks of things. Uh, headed towards, um, well, it looks like we have the sun over there, which is happiness. Headed towards, uh, you know, a better place. You're definitely headed towards a better place where you won't be in danger anymore. So you're moving away from a dangerous situation by the looks of things. We're going to go with these next. What do we have for Cancer? Right, take those. Flag, do not be tempted to lower your standards. Grasshopper, situation in the balance that requires careful handling. So you are, and it does require careful handling. You can see that it does. You could, you could fall through. You could, you know, the situation is very dangerous. You, you could really, uh, you know, if you think about hypothermia, that is, you know, a dangerous situation where, you know, you may not recover. So I feel like, you know, you really don't lower your standards. Go to where there's stability, where there's safety. Do not stay in a situation that is dangerous. You have been in one, obviously. So you're going to have to be very careful because it feels like you're you're just barely, you know, you're still close to that dangerous situation. You need to really keep going. Don't look back. Hightail it. Hightail it to the other side, okay? You really need to, to get moving. Do not go backwards because you will uh, sink. What do we have for cancer? There's a bright opportunity right in front of you where you won't be uh, you know, cold, you know, you won't be cold. It will be warmer. There'll be more light. This is moving away from darkness. It is a time of transition. It is. So what do we have for cancer in regards to love? Keep going. Don't look back. Going to a warmer place. Going to where there's happiness. Put it that way. Free yourself. So yeah, this is breaking free from something. You know, I think that you've been in some sort of cage, right? You've been tied down. You've been stuck. You've probably been played. You know, you need to break free. It's time to take back control of your life. And I feel like that is exactly what you're doing during this time. Okay? I do. I feel like there's nobody that can stop you. You're ready. You're ready to break free. You're ready to fly. So I, I do think that you are headed in the right direction. You are getting out of a situation where you've been trapped you know, go into a better place where you can just be free, you know. What do we have for cancer? 
taking back control, not going to sink, not going to allow yourself or whoever this person was or whatever the situation is to cause you to sink. This is you <coughs> really taking a new approach. Wheel of Fortune. Now the Wheel of Fortune is a destined change, of course. This is good luck I'm at the right place at the right time, going in the right direction. Something very positive is coming to you. This is a destined change. So this is positive change that is happening right now. The wheel is spinning in your favor. Okay, it is. It is spinning in your favor. That should zoom at any time, you would think. But I got my light. I, did. I got my light shining. So there we go. That's that's the wheel of life spinning you in a very positive direction starting now. Definitely. Definitely going in a positive direction. This is the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new one. So you are about to begin a new cycle that, that sends you down a new path. Five of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. Two of Swords reversed. This is seeing something clearly. There's been some sort of betrayal. There's been some sort of battle, power struggles, really struggling, struggling, mental, 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 mental. This is a need to break free from some chains. You need to break free. It's not going to be easy. You need to walk away. You need to take control. And this month, you're going to be taking control. I think that you maybe you've been in some sort of denial or you've been avoiding challenge or playing it safe, you know, or just not seeing clearly. You know, you've been not seeing something clearly. And I feel like now you've reevaluated the situation. Now you've received some sort of clarity. You got to get out of this. This is definitely a dangerous situation. It is. I feel like... Uh, You've put in a lot of effort, though. I think that you've tried really, really hard to make something work. I feel like, but now you have to leave that behind. Yeah, you've put in a lot of, maybe you paid a lot of money or something like that. You know, you've put in a lot to make something work. But life is always changing. And I think that you need to just take, take your experiences and walk away. You need to walk away. You need to go down this path before you sink. Um, there's been some lies, there's been denial, there's been avoiding the truth, there's been uh, indecisiveness. I feel like you've been really undecided and I feel like you've uh, really been struggling. You've been struggling with your thoughts as to where you need to go, but I think that now you have clarity. Um, yeah, this is a very independent person who has all the skills to do what they need to do. This is this is enjoying life. It's living the good life, being grateful. The storm is over. This is because and it's because you make the decision that you have kind of been back and forth on. You've been back and forth and you've been stuck. You've been trapped in some sort of mental turmoil, extreme mental turmoil about walking away. But I think you've come to the conclusion now that you have to walk away. You have to take action for your own sanity. So I think that I think that you are very capable. I think that you have all the skills that you need to succeed and that abundance is going to come to you because you decide to just let somebody go because two people are walking away, you know, or they're being pushed away. It's like and I feel like that five of swords in your instance is you protecting yourself. You have to protect yourself because whoever you're dealing with is like they they don't care if you sink. They don't care if you sink. So I feel like, I feel like, uh, you know, it's non-negotiable. You know that it's time to go. I feel like you've been bullied or intimidated or maybe even abused by another person. And you have to look out for number one. Because if you don't look out for number one, nobody else is going to look out for number one. So I feel like that's what's going on here. You have to take care of yourself. And this month, you come to that conclusion. You see it very clearly that you have to take action to bring success. And I think that's exactly what you're doing. You're breaking free from a situation that, you know, may have seemed safe, but it really 
confined you, you know, it restricted you, it restricted you, it confined you, it made you feel like you were in prison. This is breaking free from that prison. You are totally breaking free from it. You are headed in a new direction because it looks like you know your value, right? You know your value, you know your worth, you know, you know what you have to offer. And I feel like you have a lot to offer. And I also feel like, you know, you've obviously already said it. You've been struggling. You've been struggling with saying goodbye to something or somebody that has betrayed you or has has treated you badly or has led you in the wrong direction. Like I said, you got I I don't need to repeat myself, but you need to take care of you. But anyhow, um this is letting go. You may be letting go of something you are holding on to. You are letting go of something you are holding on to. You know, it's time to let go and relax. You're letting go of fear, opening up. You've been guarded. You've definitely been guarded. You've been trying to protect yourself. Maybe there could be fear. There could be fear of being alone, you know, we, or, or fear of going down a path and, and never finding anybody. There, you know, don't don't let fear get in the way. There could also be pride or ego because of that five of swords. That's pride, ego. It is that may have kept you in a situation. You know, it sucks when things don't work out, especially when you have put in so much time, money, effort, whatever it was. So I feel like you've put in a lot to a situation, and now you just have to go. You have to go. And I feel like it's the best thing for you. It's time for you to be respected. Whoever you are dealing with didn't respect you. They All they cared about was themselves. And I feel like, you know, they didn't care if you got hurt because they just had their own agenda. Somebody had their own agenda. And may, it may have been a financial agenda. You know, they may have been after you for your fortune or your money or something like that. Or, you know, um... <laughs> Hierophant reverse. Now that's lack of faith, lack of spirituality, um, having a hard time doing the right thing um, due to society. There could be a broken marriage here, or relationship issues. There could be commitment issues. We have somebody here that hasn't been listening to their gut. They've been staying in a situation that is uh, You know, it's 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 been a prison. It's been a mental prison. They've been staying in this situation. They've been tied to a situation and really been having a hard time doing the right thing because of social pressure. What's everybody going to say? Who cares what everybody says? Doesn't matter what anybody else says. So anyway, I feel like you are definitely breaking free. Abundance is coming for you. And I think it's coming for you because you're letting go and you're moving. You're moving somewhere. You're going someplace. You're leaving the dangerous situation behind with whoever it was that belittled you. Somebody belittled you. They didn't respect you. They caused you a lot of uh, pain. You know, they kept you, uh, they restricted you. And you allowed them to restrict you. You did. I don't know if you're dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Taurus. Um, you could also be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Or Virgo or a Capricorn. Anyhow, I do feel like you are definitely leaving something behind. No doubt about it. This person has blocked your abundance. You let them. You let them. I feel like they were after your abundance as well. They were after what you could give to them. So I feel like this month you are letting this person go because you know your value. And I think that you're just, I feel like you're saying goodbye. You are really saying goodbye. You have a positive future ahead and you know it. This is going to be like the end of a commitment. It could. Breaking free. Um, yeah, facing challenges and it's not going to be easy. So this month, yeah, you're going to be facing some challenges. I feel like you have gained a lot of experience. You have... Um, <sighs> 
had to persevere. You're going to continue to persevere. I feel like you've, you've, uh, you're growing weary, right? You're growing weary. You have a lot of doubt. You have a lot of fear in your head, but you have come so far. I feel like you've been wounded. I feel like you've been guarded. You're still wounded. You're still guarded, but you are determined. Your determination, your hard work is going to pay off. I can see that you're a hard worker. We have a very hard worker here who has been facing a lot of life challenges that have kept them stuck. I feel like, you know, you've been ha this is like facing life challenges with all the strength that you can muster, right? You you've had to it's like you've been brought to your knees by an individual who, uh, I don't know what they have done, but they have betrayed you. They have hurt you. They have belittled you. They have brought you to your knees. Somebody has brought you to your knees. And it's time for you to stand up and show them what you're worth. And I think that's exactly what you're doing this month. This is leaving. It's planning. It's going in a new direction. You are definitely, definitely, definitely going in a new direction. And you're going towards something bright, something warmer, where there'll be more warmth. You know, there'll be, you know, because of that sun, that, that's warmth. So you're going towards a, a, you know, headed towards a warm, happy place, put it that way. You're not going to allow yourself to be abused. And this is mental abuse. I feel like you have been abused by another person. And this can always go vice versa. Okay, so this could be for the cross watcher. There is mental abuse here. Somebody is leaving mental abuse behind. That's what's happening. It's not going to be easy. They're leaving. They're leaving behind a... A relationship of some sort it's not going to be easy but there's clarity here with the two of swords reverse that's seeing it as it is it's time to go because i know my value so that is what i have cancer i feel like this is a month of you know you walking away or somebody that you're dealing with walking away somebody is walking away absolutely from a dangerous situation this is the end of a chapter and the beginning of a new one i do see single grateful independent enjoying life we have somebody here that, you know, has picked themselves up from rock bottom. So maybe you're going to be picking yourself up off the ground, you know, and holding your head up high if that's for you. That's what I see. It's like standing up for yourself. The Nine of Pentacles is about self. It's about self-worth and self-value. There is somebody here that knows their value and they know their worth and they're letting go of something that they have been holding on to. Whatever this is, it, there's been a lot of abuse. Goodbye. And good luck.